I'm your daughter from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Gloria with me. This is my mother-in-law. And um, anyway, we just have a blast when we're here hanging out. And <laughs> she has done a lot of hard things. Anyway, she went through cancer a little bit ago. And so I wanted to show you this awesome haircut that works good for, um, for her hair growing back in. It has come back in so much better, it has, hasn't it? It really has. So it's, it, it was very, very fine and thin. And she still has fine, thin hair, but it's come in a lot, lot better. So I wanted to show you um, a good haircut if you're fine and thin to make it look thicker. So um, I appreciate her letting us do this. So, and we live in the same town which is awesome. All of Garrison's family lives here and all of my family live here. So it's awesome. Definitely blessed to have everybody in the same town. That usually doesn't happen. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So we definitely feel blessed. Okay, so I'm just point cutting into this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round brush this when we're done. Um, round brushing can definitely give it more volume and the mousse that I'm going to put in her hair and the, the volume and thickening, it's a volume and lift spray. Anyway, that helps it look and feel thicker. So I will show you that when we get to that point. Um, if, if you have fine thin hair, it is best to keep it shorter. That definitely makes it look fuller and thicker. Um, another thing with that is in, in the back of hair, cause some people will say, well, I feel like I need to, to grow the back of my hair. Cause that's the only thing that will really grow. But to be honest with you, it actually works best if you can kind of tighten the back up. So it makes it look fuller on the, on the top. If not, if you have, um, you know, the fullness just in the back, then the attention goes to that and not up here. It makes that look thinner up on top. So anyway, that's a little tip. If you're feeling like you're looking thinner, if you take some of the back off, um, it will accentuate this. So, and especially if you can do a, you know, thickening spray or a good mousse, that definitely helps. Plus, um, obviously round brushing. And I will show you how to do that when we get there. And the other thing about round brushing too is, you know, some people will say, well, I just, my hair won't round brush good. It just falls out of the brush. Like it slips out. And I tell them, okay. Um, so they either bring me the brush or they send me a picture of it. And it definitely makes a difference on what type of a round brush you use. So um, I can give you more information on that too. I have some actually in the link below in the description. Anyway, there's some in there that are really, really good. And it has a metal center. And so it, oh, let me grab this other one. Um, so it heats that up a little bit. So it, it round brushes um, better. And it also, um, actually grabs the hair and holds on to the hair. So it doesn't matter if you have thick or thin hair, it's gonna grab onto that hair no matter what. So that's that's definitely a huge plus with those types of ram brushes. All right. Okay, same thing here. Just making sure this is clean behind here. Yeah, it was funny, Gloria, um, when my mom was having me, uh, she ended up coming and seeing me in the hospital when I was born. Um, my parents knew them, obviously, and she come and was like, my baby's being stubborn. Anyway, long story short, her uh, stubborn baby is my husband now. <laughs> so we're four days apart. So yeah, she had him four days after she come to see me. So yeah, that's a fun little story. I and she was it. a cute baby. Oh, thanks. That's so nice. <laughs> so so nice. It was fun. I'm I'm right before Christmas, and and my siblings always tell me that they waited by that front window, and I ended up coming home in 
a Christmas stocking. So it was fun. I still have that sock that I come home in. So that's actually a fun, fun thing to talk about, but okay. And so the years see, have gone fast. They have gone so fast. In fact, we was just talking about this before we started the video. It's just nuts. I'm like, yeah, already been married to Garrison 20 and a half years and it's, it's just nuts. I'm like, <laughs> crazy stuff. But yeah, they are great in-laws. I said, the, the awesome thing um, that I love is, you know, just having clients and hearing, there's, there's a lot of people, um, and I don't mean this mean, but there's a lot of people that don't want to go to their in-laws. Mm -hmm. And I love it. <laughs> so anyway, I go there whether Garrison's there or not. So was she better? <laughs> That's right. Absolutely, <laughs> huh? But yeah, it's good. I'm very blessed to love my in-laws, so it's good. Okay, so after taking that length, I'm just gonna come by her ear and just clean this up a little bit. I can't believe you do it so fast. Oh, thanks. That's so nice. I know, I, I used to think I'm like, even when I do color or something, I'm like, wow, I takes this long to do a color and mm -hmm. now you can do two colors in the time of one. And I'm like, oh, yep, that's definitely doing it for, you know, 25 years. Yeah, she does it years. very fast. Very good. Thank you. That's so sweet. I appreciate it. It's definitely fun. I always tell everybody, it's like, it's not, I mean, it's my job, obviously, but I'm so grateful that I love it, that I don't, it's not my job. I don't feel like, oh, I have to go to work. I'm like, oh, good, I get to go to work. <laughs> get to go see all my amazing clients that I've had forever. It's awesome. And fun to meet all my new clients, too, so it's fun. In fact, I... The stories that we talk about with the kids being young and things that they've done and oh anyway it's a hoot in here sometimes okay so i put the the mousse in there i'm putting the volume and uh lift spray in that and then i'm going to show you um this round brush is the tiniest one um anyway if you can see that and then i'm going to show you guys um when it's about dry, I mean, we still need it damp a little bit, but when it's about dry, that's when you're going to start round brushing. And another thing, if you're just starting, this could help also. Just turn your blow dryer on low. I have it on low now. So you're just going to bring this brush in, and you can see how I'm just kind of pulling and twisting. This makes it look really full. Okay, I'm going to turn it to high. But that is definitely one way that you can learn, you know, a little easier probably to round brush. So you don't feel like you have hair flying or whatever. But you can feel like in, I mean, it just grabs that hair so nicely. It doesn't just slip out, it grabs it. And it doesn't get caught, you know, but it grabs it. So that's a nice one. Okay, so the sides turn around the side. So that's cool. <laughs> now 
I'm just going to turn this on low. And then back and forth, back and forth. I just kind of make sure it's all dry throughout. Okay, then I'm going to take just a tiny bit of the styling paste. And not, not much, just a little fingertip and rub it in. And this way, this will kind of hold it that up and just kind of piece it out. Feeling better? Glow? Yes, I know how it looks. Okay, good. You do a good job. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so nice. Okay. You always look better when you go after, to a beauty shop, don't you? <laughs> right? <laughs> Isn't that the best? It seriously is. And then it's funny because you're like, well, um, now where can I go? Does it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> People say that too. If they don't have anywhere to go, they're like, well, I guess I'm just going to go to the store at least. I'm like, perfect. <laughs> okay, so you can see I'm just backcombing a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to spray in between and on top, all, all of that. And then I'm just going to take my comb and then just kind of put it back into place. So as I do that, I'm going to turn her around and you can see how much fuller this looks. And then I will check it. And I put it's it good. in. I like it. Thank you so much. Is Savvy going to say to me, oh, look at the hair with the spikes? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was the funniest, wasn't it? It was definitely. Oh my heck. My niece is... Uh, daughter is obsessed with Eric on The Little Mermaid and they said oh no Radonna is going to marry Eric because she's seriously obsessed with him and she's like well no and then she looks at me and she's like and they're like well why not because Eric doesn't like Radonna's spiky hair <laughs> we laughed and laughed it was so cute oh my goodness so anyway, now we tease about my spiky hair that Eric doesn't like the spiky hair. I like it. I think it looks good. <laughs> Thank you. It's fun. But it was cute because after she, she felt bad, she was like, well, she wasn't going to say it again because after she said it, I think she was like, oh, that probably made her done a feel bad. I think she was a Which little embarrassed. But yeah, I think she was a little embarrassed. But anyway. Okay. All right. I like it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to spray it one more time. And thank you guys so much. Thanks, Glow, for letting me. You're welcome. Do it one more time. I love it. So um, thanks again. If you guys have any questions at all, um, I would love to help you. Hopefully this helps you if you have more fine and thin hair. Um, it's a darling haircut for that and to make it look fuller. So anyway, have a great day, you guys. See ya.